<laughs> Alright guys, I've come out here to uh, share with you a new product that I've had sent to me by GearPest. It's connected here on the bottom by two of its carry handle straps. The bag that it comes in is a real heavy duty bag. I wouldn't call this a lightweight backpacking chair, but it's not extremely heavy either. It comes in at just under two pounds. I think uh, I weighed it at home at one pound 15 ounces. Uh, the sack itself here has a daisy chain coming down the back, so you could clip things onto it or use it to help connect it to your actual pack, um, if that's what you choose to do. Let's go ahead and get to the contents on the inside here. So when you open up the sack, you get the cloth, um, which is it's got mesh on it, and this is the actual seat part of the chair, and then it's almost like a tent frame on in the inside of this here. So let's go ahead and set this up. All right, so we'll set the bag aside and the actual cloth part for the seat and the chair, for the most part, just kind of self sets itself up. Don't have to do much to it. There it is. It really is simple. Um, just want to make sure that they are all locked in for sure. That way you don't have an ouch. To be honest with you, the first time I sat in this chair, I was a little worried. Just more worried personally that my big fat rear was going to break it because I kind of imagined it to be kind of like tent poles and I've been in a tent when the poles have snapped and it was not any fun. But to give credit, these aluminum poles are at least twice as thick of, as any tent pole I've used except for when they used to make them really, really thick way back when I was a child. So that's the chair, that's how simple it is to set up. Just hook it on. Um, the top mesh part is the back of the seat and it's got some airflow here on the sides to sit in. Um, this would be my first time to set it, sit in it in the actual sand. I can tell you when I first sat in it, like I said, I was a little bit scared weight wise that uh, it wouldn't hold me. But it says 300 pounds and now after using it for a while, I'd probably believe that because I'm not a lightweight myself. Somewhere a little over 200. I'll let you guys kind of imagine that. Alright, so this chair is a little bit different to sit in uh, than what you're used to, like camp chairs that you would take um, car camping, per se. It sits a little lower. Um, the sand that I'm sitting in, it sunk in a little bit because the legs are just pointed legs. and uh, But, after you sit in it a while, it you kind of get used to it. This is a great position for doing like carving tasks. Um, today, I literally got this new shiny thing. So this is great for, like I said, carving tasks. If you're gonna just sit around and do that. Um, it's not one that you're gonna stick your legs out more or less like this, at least for me, this would probably hurt my back. Um, it's more of a, I'd call it a lounging chair, something that you lay back in, nearly. Um, fishing, something like that. Reading a book. Uh, my wife was sitting in it reading a book just the other day, actually. So we'll get an idea, see what the kids think of it. So you've got a chance to sit in the chair and try it out. So what do you actually feel? at least for you as a child. What do you think? I think it's comfortable. Do you? Yeah. What part of it do you think is comfortable? When you sit down and you lay back. Yeah. It's perfect for you, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, you can lay your head back and it kind of forms to your body. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, 
Maybe, maybe it's something that you could use, right? Yeah. I would just sit right here and relax and eat my supper and all. That would be a good spot, but we can't. Because it, we have, like, it's really comfy. I would like to sleep on this chair, but probably not. I was going to ask you, do you think you could fall asleep in that chair? Yeah. Do you? It's really comfy. <laughs> I just like how it's kind of a lounging chair, yeah. more or less. Um, I personally wouldn't take it backpacking just because it's two pounds and I don't need that luxury for me. But for somebody else, it might be that way. Um, it's definitely a perfect for a kid's chair. Um, it's designed for a grown-up. Uh, so but, it could be multitasking. But, like, it, you're like this. I'm like this. It's kind of for a kid's chair, but it is, it is a grown-up chair. It's so comfy. <laughs> All right, so a good friend of mine uh, that's hiked a really long, but probably the longest hike I've done um, has hiked with me and has came out to kind of join me. And I thought I'd go ahead and ask him, this is the first time he sat in it, what his opinion is of the chair. So would you buy one? Yes. Was, is it comfortable? Very comfortable. And something that maybe you would even carry with you, or I'd, do you know? I'd buy a couple of these, throw one in my truck, and have one just for hiking. Yeah. Take this fishing, hunting. That's the thing I said. I, I said for fishing, that would be so awesome. It's Prop perfect. your feet up on a on the stump or, or yeah, or a cooler or something, and just kind of lean back. Just hang out. You could, yeah, sit I'd there and play. Take a nap or two in this thing. <laughs> That's what my daughter said. She would like to take a nap in it. So yeah, it's, it's really like a. You could probably read a book in it. That's one thing I thought maybe. Oh, yeah. it, it'd be it's it's that comfortable thing, and you know, because it, it makes you want to kind of recline back in a recline yeah, position. Makes you feel reclined and of sitting upright. Then for me, I sat forward, and it was like just kind of sitting up, and it almost forces you to kind of lean forward a little bit for for carving tasks. Is what I've noticed about it. There's not a. It it doesn't give you that medium ground to me, like you have for with a regular camp chair. You know how yeah. regular camp chairs, the backs are straight up? Yeah. Um, I, I don't feel like you can really sit in it that way. What, what do you think? No, it's actually really awkward. You either have to sit forward or lean back. Like yeah, you're that's exactly what I thought. Because I'm not going to sit like this. No. With my back, or my, self, my upper body not supported. Yes, I think it's because of the way that, how short it is to the ground and your legs bent. Yeah. Probably how, how you would, I think that's why your back. The reason why you have to either lean forward or. Back. Honestly, when I first put it together, I thought maybe I put it together upside down. Yeah. So I was checking out all the pictures and I rehooked it the other direction. No, it's it's the, the way it is is the way it is. I yeah, it's a nice chair. Feels real solid. Mhm. Mm do you know how much how, how much one of those normally go for, or what do you think? Uh, closest ones I've seen are the three-legged trifold. Mhm. Mm and those go for uh, anywhere up to. 60, 70 bucks. Mm -hmm. This I, one I'd probably pay up to 124. Would you really? Yeah, that, that one there. Quality chair. Yeah, they they make one uh, another brand and it's probably just a little bit different design, but pretty close to it. That runs around a hundred dollars. Yeah. Um, and this one here, if I remember right, when I looked last, was running right under 40, um, which, you know, reasonable price. So. Yeah, it's a good price. I'd probably buy three or four at that price. <laughs> I like this chair. <laughs> it doesn't it feel like uh, the first time I got in it, I kind of felt like maybe it because the poles are kind of uh, that aluminum like, like oh. you use for a structure for a tent, mm -hmm. and it, it has a little bit of give in it. Yeah, you yeah. think you're gonna break it when you first sit in it. Yes, but exactly. So you actually commit, then you're like, okay, it's it's okay to sit in. Yeah, and then after you sit in it a while, you're like, ah, it's it's actually stronger. It's supposed to hold 300 pounds, so. Well, I'm almost there. <laughs> that, that's what I said. I'm, I'm, over, I'm over 200 pounds is all I committed to telling them. So, well, um, I'll share a little more. I'm almost 250 pounds. So <laughs> it's doing pretty good. There you so go. this is like your third time to sit in this maybe? It's two times. Your second time maybe? Okay. So what do you think of the chair? It's comfy. You like it? And you can wear your feet. Is it your favorite color? Yeah. I like blue and red. And sand in my shoes. You got sand in your shoes? Yeah. Okay. Well, what do you think about going ahead and packing it up? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So 
<laughs> it's in the sand, isn't it? You can't lay back that far, can you? Not in the sand. Because it just sinks in the sand, doesn't it? <laughs> but you do make a good blooper film. <laughs> I think you just like flipping it backwards. It's a lot more stable when it's not in the sand, huh? Yeah. But the sand is awesome. All right, guys, so there you have it. That's uh, my thoughts and the kids' thoughts on the chair. And uh, if you guys want one, go ahead and check it out. I'll put a link in the description box down below. Hope you guys liked it. Take care. Are going now back?